please. Please. Yes. It's happening. <laughs> oh. Oh, Wandering Spirit doesn't... It doesn't work like that? Did we not make contact? I thought we made contact, bro. I thought we had something. That's so annoying, bro. Why would you do that to me? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And oh, what's this? I'm making a video. Yeah, I, I was... um. I was a little bit stressed out this past week uh, <laughs> with uh, all the tests I had, and uh, yeah, I, I just ended up taking the week to work on studying and stuff, and the tests went okay, I think, so I'm really happy about that. But we're back to making videos. I don't know how consistent it's going to be, because I got about two weeks here left of um, online summer classes, but let's go and get into this. Uh, thank you so much for interacting with my community posts to help keep interactions up in the channel. I really appreciate all of you guys who are commenting and liking those. It, it actually helps a ton and I really appreciate you guys. Uh, so if you guys want to continue to help me out, let's shoot for 150 likes today. And yeah, we're going to be running this really fun team that I kind of threw together, but I think it's still pretty cool. I'm testing it out before I put it on cartridge. Essentially what it is, is um, in the DLC, Runeragus got the new move, Poltergeist, which is kind of inaccurate. 90% isn't amazing, but we've ran inaccurate moves in the past. I mean, Rotom has to run Hydro Pump, uh, but Poltergeist is actually really cool because it not only reveals their item, but it's the strongest ghost move that uh, Runeragus has, which is really, really great. If they gave it to Dragapult, uh, we'd be <laughs> we'd be terrified, but they did not. So this entire team revolves around two gimmicks that kind of they have to go 50/50 on. I could also make a mid ground play and uh, do like Dragapult, Amoongus, and Center Azumarill, but uh, they kind of have to go 50/50. Basically, one of the options that they might not see coming is I Trick Room up with Runeragus and I lead off with the Zoomer and I'm able to go for a super effective Aqua Jet into the Runeragus. It's going to take a decent chunk of damage. However, um, upon Aqua Jet making contact with Runeragus, Wandering Spirit trades with huge power, doubling my attack stat and the weakness policy goes off, giving me a disgustingly powerful Earthquake uh, coming off of this max attack. Uh, or I could just set up Trick Room and play him like a normal Pokemon. Poltergeist also does stupid amounts of damage. Uh, we have the option of going for Belly Drum instead with this Azumarill. Uh, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Protect. I could run Liquidation, but I just, I like Protect too much. If I'm going to go for Max Geyser, it's it's still going to hurt because this thing has disgusting attack stats. Um, we're running Safety Goggles and Cinnamur, nothing too special here. Cobra Berry, Amoongus, Focus Sash, Dragapult with Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, Beat Up, and Protect. Uh, the reason it's Focus Sash is because it makes it easier to set up the other gimmick here, which is Assault Vest Cobalion with Justified. We have Iron Head, Close Combat, Bounce, and Stone Edge. And yeah, the like it's just a really solid combination of Pokemon. I think it's uh, pretty cool. I needed a Steel type and a Fighting type on this team, so I ended up going with Cobalion. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to help me out, 150 likes today. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, and also answer this question of the day. What is your favorite move from the DLC? For me personally, it has to be Poltergeist, but I almost ran Steel Roller on this uh, Azumarill. Yeah, I, I think that these are pretty cool moves that we got. All, all of the moves are actually really, really cool that we got in the DLC. Um, but yeah, and if you want to answer an alternate question, what are you studying? Like, what do you want to study in college? I'm, I'm really I'm really curious because I'm a physics major and uh, it's, it's really difficult. So it looks like what we have here is these two. We all know what these two did. Well, we saw it in the last video. Uh, we have Giga Drain Comfe next to Weakness Policy Lapras. They also have Auto Trick Room, essentially. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just go with the Dragapult lead, the Dragapult Cobalion lead, because it does fairly well versus this team. Dragapult Cobalion, and I think my last Mons, Amoongus kind of gets messed up by three or four of these Pokemon. Um, Azumarill is probably a good investment of a Pokemon just because it lets me hit the, um, it lets me hit a lot of things hard on this team, the Marowak in particular, and um, these two don't appreciate getting hit by Play Rough. And I think my last Pokemon's gonna have to be a, uh, probably Incineroar, just because it helps me switch in on a couple of things. Uh, Poltergeist from this Marowak, Psychic moves from these two, uh, and I'm likely faster than this Lapras, so I can Parting Shot out. All right, as they lead off with uh, the gimmick, so this shouldn't be hard to. <laughs> let's see if we get an, let's see if we get a turn one forfeit. In fact. Let's see if we get the turn one forfeit. I mean, they could ally switch and that'd be annoying, but I don't see it. I feel like if you're going to lead off with your gimmick, your gimmick loses to my gimmick, you know? Let me make sure my audio is recording. Okay, yeah, it is. We're good. We are Gucci. In fact, let me set these up side by side on my second monitor. Yeah, because I'm fancy like that. I got two monitors. 
Ladies, um, if you see a man with two monitors and a light-up keyboard, leave immediately. He's not worth your time. <laughs> okay, so as he uh, goes for the max guard, uh, I'm assuming he might trick room here, which is um, interesting. I know it gets trick room, which is really cool. However, I do have the assault vest, so even at plus two, this thing wouldn't be able to knock me out. And I still have Sash on Dragapult. As he does Trick Room, I'm perfectly fine taking this hit. In fact, I can get in my Azumarill for free here, as I go for the Max Knuckle on the Lapras. There's the Ally Switch. A little bit annoying, but still fine with that. Honestly, like it, I don't lose too much. The Ally Switch is super annoying, but uh, he's forced to let me give him his Weakness Policy if he wants to knock me out. Um, I'm going to go for a Play Rough into this Lapras slot, as well as a max knuckle because I want to ensure that I actually get the KO I'm not gonna double in I'm not gonna like spread my moves out because like they have the screen up it's gonna do a lot of damage I should take the max geyser behind my assault vest and that should definitely KO beautiful and now we have plus two azumarill under trick room uh, and nothing on their team really wants to take this hit to be honest I can bring in my incinera here um, and I'm just going to go for the Iron Head into the Comfey slot because I think once Comfey is gone and you know all the all the shenanigans with um, all the shenanigans with the ally switches over, I should be good to go. And Sinner is a free switch here. Get minus one. They might high horse power me, but it shouldn't really make a difference. Grassy Glide, amazing. Yeah, plus three. It comes close to knocking out. They aren't quite in fake out range. Um, however. I should always fake out, and I can go for a, another Iron Head, because Rillaboom doesn't do much to me. Yeah. As they end up going for Super Power, I'm curious why they didn't do that the first turn. Alright, um, I can definitely Flare Blitz here, and I'm thinking that'll pick up a KO. It's going to be really close. Um, I should always protect the Dragapult, though. If they end up ally switching, I'd be really surprised, because Rillaboom doesn't take the hit all that well, especially at minus one defense and half attack. <laughs> Yeah, and Cinder seems to be like my best Pokemon on the field at the moment. Let me nay nay on this Comfe. I really hate Ally Switch. Like, after. Here's the thing like, VGC 17, when we first got Ally Switch, it was like, yeah, whatever. It, it sucks. I hate it. It's not fun to play against. But, like, I've just become so jaded with it. Like, I'm just so used to it that it's like. It's like fair in my eyes again, which is weird. It, it was never fair before. I was always like, this sucks. I hate this. This is a stupid move. It's, it's a garbage move. Uh, let me go for this Draco Meteor into the Ndidi. All right, it should really go into Rillaboom, but you know he's about to follow me. Yeah. And we miss. Incredible. Skill. 100% skill right there. Let me get back in the Incineroar as I go for another Draco Meteor. I'm most likely within range. Or actually, I should always get an Incineroar and protect here because Grassy Glide is likely going to knock me out. And I would like to be able to fake out into that Rillaboom. Yeah, that Draco miss is a little bit annoying, but I should be able to make for it. I should be able to make up for it here. Grassy Glide. And Expanding Force. Interesting. Okay, we're going to fake out here. We're going to go for a uh, Draco Meteor again into the Ndidi. Because Dragapult isn't important to winning. It's just damage on the Ndidi I care about. And I can always cycle my Intimidates. Like, these two together, if I get this thing to, like, minus minus two attack like it's not knocking me out all right <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> oh my god no all right i better not lose from this i better not lose um flare blitz isn't knocking it. let me darkest lariat and i will go for a play rough that's so annoying all right grassy glide Ugh, bro if i lose I'm, I'm gonna be so upset i'm gonna be so upset about this flare blitz he has to helping hand here, get him back to neutral. If I knock out the... But here's the thing, I'm going to get recoil. Dude, that was so annoying. No. Okay, we're good. Knock out... Interesting, I think he's trying to remove a berry. But sir, I am goggles. Oh, well now he wins. That's annoying. Let me darkest lair it in the off chance I survive this. Because he can just helping hand now. Yeah, okay. Um, that was not a good game, but I'm going to pretend like it was. That was so annoying. I missed two Draco Meteors. 90 act was it is it 90 or 85 is that 90 or 85 let me see this 90 90 and i missed two in a row and that cost me the game that's so annoying all right um so we see 
they have their own little gimmick going on here. They got Dragapult plus um, stupid fast man. Um, they're likely going to surf. I feel comfortable leading off Runarigus Azumarill. Yeah, I should be able to lead off that way. Um, Amoongus in the back is really solid versus this team. He doesn't have much for it besides that uh, Togekiss. And I think my last mon's going to be Incineroar. Alright, so he should always go for Surf here. But he's also within range of my Aqua Jet if he goes for Surf, I believe. Hmm. What if I just... Uh... I feel like you always prioritize a zoom roll here. That's the funny part. Let me go for Trick Room. And I will attempt to Aqua Jet into this Colossal, but it doesn't really make a difference if I miss. All right, yeah, that's fine. Let's see what he goes for into the Renarigus. Reflect, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Let me get in my Incineroar. Actually, let me protect and get in the, in right, I can double. I can double pretty safely here. He should be going for a Ghost move and a Grass move. Or for a ghost move into Runarigus and a grass move into Azumarill. So Incineroar into the Runarigus slot, Amoongus into the um, Azumarill slot. Dude, I'm still salty about that last match. I'm on tilt. I'm on hard tilt. Game one. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he glides or fakes out. The Gastrodon. I have Giga Drain, which is amazing for me here, because I threaten that Gastrodon hard. Like, harder than anyone has ever been threatened. Go for the fake out. Um, no reason not to Giga Drain. That's fine. What are you going to do, Max Airstream? Think I care? Max Darkness. Ooh, ow. Oof, ouch, my bones. No. I'm going to Parting Shot here on the Rillaboom as he's going to switch out into um, most likely the Dragapult, but once again, I fear nothing, and I will Giga Drain once more. Yeah, give me your Gastrodon. That's in Grassy Terrain, and we do nothing. Okay. Am I getting it knocked out? No, we're fine. <laughs> That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Um, You should protect the Gastrodon here. Azumarill... I'll go over Narragus, just so I can bring back in Incineroar. And, um... I suppose I Giga Drain once more, because I take the hit. This thing's at half attack. And I still haven't burned a Dynamax either. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I really want to pull off the uh, Aqua Jet meme. The only thing is, uh, it's kind of difficult, because you, if you end up taking a hit with your Narragus, uh, then you trade your Wandering Spirit and it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> There's the Giga Drain. We're going to knock it out. Critical hit didn't matter, because the Rindo Berry's gone. Drum Solo does 2. Well, 2-2. Two, 22. Two, 2 times 11. Quick math. Alright, as uh, this guy comes back in. This guy, yeah. <laughs> um, he should go for like a rock move into me. I can probably get an Azumarill for free here. I need the Trick Room again. That, that's the big thing here. Um, or a Fire move into Amoongus makes sense too. Let me Parting Shot on the Colossal and get in the Azumarill. Yeah. It might be time, boys. It might just be time. Because he's going to surf. Uh, and I'll get my weakness policy. Let me protect here on that. Because he has to go for max grass, 100%. Oh, wait, he can't max grass. I just remembered that. I'm stupid. But I did get my weakness policy, which is amazing, and he's definitely within Aqua Jet range. So I threaten him pretty hard. He rock slides, that's fine. That's fine. Let me uh let me trick room up. Go for this Aqua Jet into the Colossal. He can bring in whatever he wants, but uh, unless he has ally switch, he's not taking this. Nah, he's not taking a four times effective move. Even if he sets up reflect, I think we're cool. Because he has to choose which one of these to knock out. Yeah, beautiful. I get my trick room up, we now have poltergeist pressure. Uh, in fact, I'll go for the Poltergeist and play rough into the Rillaboom, because I beat Dragapult with um, Incineroar every time. In fact, let me, let me max here. Or I should max a zoom roll if anything. Yeah, uh, we'll Poltergeist, we'll max a zoom roll, max Starfall. He can Glizzy Glide, but it's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's fine. Wandering Spirit. As I now get... <laughs> 
<laughs> we traded him huge power, by the way. Just then. We, we literally just gave him huge power. And then he forfeited. Okay, well, we got one. <laughs> that would have been so bad, because he got Wandering Spirit. He would have gotten huge power from that. Okay, uh, as we face hard, hard Trick Room. Let's see. They do have Redirection, which means Dragapult Cobalion isn't very safe. Um, and also the Azumar Runaragus isn't extremely safe. It looks like Amoongus kind of goes in on everything except for Indeedee and Marowak, and I don't think he's going to bring both. He might, actually. Yeah, it's not, not a terrible option to bring both. I'd say versus my team, he'll probably just want to go for Indeedee on the lead every time and the Trick Room setup. So, in response to that, I will go Runaragus on the lead. And Incineroar? I mean, Runaragus on the lead isn't awful. I don't know if I want to go Incineroar. I think Incineroar in the back is a great option. Azumarill on the lead is probably better. I think my last one, once again, is going to be Amoongus. So we go Hard Trick Room as well to counter this Hard Trick Room. Trick Room, Trick Room, you know. Okay, cool. I am actually very happy with this lead because I get an Incineroar and I might actually be able to Belly Drum here because he should always follow me. Actually, I don't even think I can Belly Drum now that, not, now that I'm really thinking about it. Now that I'm really using my, my Thinker. He's probably going to go for a... Um... Let me think. Because does he want me to get Trick Room up? If I, if I get Trick Room up, I outspeed him with um, Runarigus. I'm really scary. What if I just Dynamax Max Quake? Screw it. Going all in with uh, with the Runarigus. As he Dynamaxes. Ooh. It's lit, dude. It's lit as hell. There's the Max Phantasm. It's going to do, like, nothing. I get to go for Parting Shot on this thing. Or actually, I should Max Guard. I should Max Guard now. Because he's going to go for it into the uh, Runarigus. And I should Darkest Lariat. Let's see his Max Phantasm. Critical hit. <laughs> I don't know how much that mattered when you're at half health. So on the bright side, we actually did manage to stall out his Dynamax pretty well. As he gets in the Rillaboom, I should be able to get in um, Amoongus here and Parting Shot on the Marowak, unless he fakes out. But I would like to get this Marowak to minus one. As he should go for the Ghost move. Grassy Glide, okay. Is he going to Max Quake me? No, he's not. Um, I can get an Azumarill pretty safely, I believe. As he Max Quakes... And now, um, let me go for the Spore on the Marowak as I get an Incineroar. I should always take the hit with Marowak at minus one. I mean, it's going to be close, but it's better than nothing, you know? Alright, Primarina is going to go to sleep, which is incredible for me. And I should be able to Flare Blitz pretty freely into this Rillaboom as I go for a... I don't want to go for a clear smog, I kind of want to spore in Flare Blitz, because he might get in the Marowak here. I don't know what Rillaboom does. Like, it doesn't do anything. It could high horsepower, but if he stays in, I get I pretty much get a kill. And Azumarill looks nicer and nicer. I play very badly, don't worry. Me too, bud. Me too. Hey, we got it. Now that thing's asleep, incredible. Um, I could get in a zoom roll here. But I think it's better for me just to Giga Drain and Darkest Lariat into the Marowak. GG. Uh, not yet, not yet. I don't, okay, no, GG, okay. Let's get one more, let's get one more. I really wanna pull off this um this huge power thing. If we don't, if we don't, I'll try to get on cartridge because the team seems to be working pretty decently and this is scary. Uh, that is... <laughs> This is like Trick Room Pink Urchin Rising Voltage memes. Runaragus looks so nice in this matchup. Oh my god. Yes, beautiful, incredible, absolutely phenomenal, in fact. If I get this Trick Room up, oh, it's over. It's over. Let me get uh, Imungus in here. Not because it can put things to sleep, but because it's just good for resisting hits from uh, the dynamic duo over here. Y'all heard of Tapu Koko and uh, Alolan Raichu? Nah, nah, it's Pink Kirchin and Alolan Raichu. Pink Kirchin is so small, Alolan Raichu could wear him on his head and it'd be adorable. As it looks like I'm not going to be able to go for my meme. Devastated, actually, I'm devastated. Uh, but he has no Trick Room setup, which is interesting. I could 
I could get in a Moongus. No. Here's what I do. Here's what I do, right? I don't know what I do, actually. Do I Dynamax you? And just hope for the best. Because he's gonna he's gonna follow me belly drum. And he's gonna Dynamax and eat me, eat me alive. I think it's for the best if I get an Amoongus, belly drum up. No, that doesn't make sense either. Because what I'm trying to do here is find a way to knock out Ndidi, but also keep my Mon, you know? I, I mean, he has no Trick Room setup, so I'm faster outside anyway, so I might just do that. Let me go for the, uh, yeah, crap. Okay, this is annoying. Uh, I'm going to max quick, and I'm going to belly drum up, because it looks like that's my only option here. Oh, I didn't like that, actually. As he belly drums, um, I should be able to max quick once more and go for a protect. And then I have play rough pressure, which is incredible, because I don't want him to get a free hit off here. I was expecting him to follow me. Like, hard follow me. I don't see a situation where you don't do that. I could have gotten mad damage off in the, on the Snorlax. Are you going to ally switch? Do you get that? I really hope you don't. Expanding force, it's going to hurt. He's going to knock out the Azumarill. Nope. Runergus eats that up, though, which is incredible. Um, I'm hoping that there's a Pink Urchin in my future. I mean, I take every hit from Hitmontop. It's Raichu. Okay, that one's a little bit harder to deal with. Um, I believe we speed tie if he's minimum speed. I should max Phantasm into the Raichu. Do I get an Amoongus here? I mean, I, I have to get rid of Raichu before I can do anything, realistically speaking. Let me think, because he's going to go for... He has the option to expanding force, which is scary. I'm hoping that he doesn't have it on this thing, but in all likelihood he does. I'm gonna get an incinerar. I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of the, the zoom roll. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this looks like an L. This looks like an L. I'm thinking he got us, yeah. Unfortunate. I'm trying to think if there's any way out. There is literally no way out. GG, dude. GG. Alright, let's get one more. I just really want to pull off this stupid Runarigus gimmick. Because I've been able to pull off Dragapult and Cobalion. I haven't done Runarigus yet, and it's because this stupid Pokemon is running around. You. I hate you, man. I hate you. Real talk, I hate you. I don't even care if I lose this one. I'm going I'm going for it right off the bat. Right off the bat, we don't even care if we lose. Like, objectively speaking, he gets eaten up by Dragapult Cobalion, but I want to go for this. You have no idea how badly I want to use this stupid gimmick. What's my ladder, too? 1487. I'm giving it up. I'm giving it up for the stupid gimmick. And you, you suck. I hate you. Go away. All right. Um, should be able to trick room here, get in the incinerar. Is they're likely going... They can't taunt me because they have their own psychic train up, so they kind of shot themselves in the foot there. An incinerar under trick room doesn't look bad versus them. Watch them be like trick room whimsicott. Expanding force is going to hurt. 62%, I can eat that up. Ooh. Ooh. That felt bad, man. That felt bad. Let me go for the Protect here on the Ndidi. Darkest Lariat. Hopefully they're not like Sash or something. But neither of these mons do damage to me. Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, he's getting Expanding Force. As he reflects? Okay, what is this? Okay. Um... I'm curious about that, because I could have gotten a Trick Room up. Let me think. I'm not thinking. He could Expanding Force here, which would hurt. I think it's safer in this matchup to get rid of Azumarill in Darkest Lariat. We did 48 to 49, so it might be a roll if we knock him out. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed that they have Trick Room Whimsicott. That's wacky. 
is the expanding force. Gonna take a lot in the Azumarill, get our Citrus Berry up back to 60. All right, and they live. Can you hear me? Can you hear me getting TO'd? Um, I mean, I always knock out the Indeedee here. They have no switch-ins besides Tyranitar. I can go for a Protect, uh, and I suppose I just Darkest Lair out again. We just keep doing this. Indeedee doesn't hit the Incineroar. He's got two turns of terrain left. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I can get in the... Uh, actually, look, um, Amoongus looks a lot safer now. Amoongus really looks safe. I have to be a little bit careful, though, um, because Max Airstream hurts, like, really hard. A parting shot on you. Get in the Amoongus. If I'm lucky, he'll go for Max... Um, he'll go for Max Overgrowth in this Azumarill. It looks like we're not getting the gimmick off this game. Which is disappointing as hell. Yeah. Please tell me you went for Max Overgrowth. Like a loser. Yeah, there's the Airstream. We don't get an Intimidate off. Um, we do have an opportunity to follow me Belly Drum. But it's not, it's not going to win us anything. Um, let me think. I shouldn't Belly Drum, I think. Because plus one Max Airstream should knock me out. Let me Rage Powder. And he could taunt me, too, because it doesn't get redirected. So yeah, I'm going to Starfall into this Gyarados. Because Gyarados is scary as hell right now. And uh, if he ends up taunting into the Zoomer, I'd actually be pretty happy. Let's see if I take the hit. Come on, Barry. Come on, Barry. Nah, nah, it hits too hard. He knows what I'm doing here. And also, he was light clay on the on the Indeedy. What? He was light clay on Indeedy. That's so wacky. Let's see if he lets me get Trick Room off. Because he should taunt, if anything. Or even just double into Runeric. It's because it's obvious what I'm doing here. Like, it's, it's pretty obvious. taking his time. Dazzling Gleam. Let's see if he doubled into Runarigus. Yep, there it is. GG. I want it. I'm going to I'm going to get one more. If if I don't get it this game, it's just all right, we're not we're not doing it, but I really want to do it. Like so bad. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um you're annoying. You're annoying, but besides that, we're probably good. We're probably good. Like once again, I don't care if I lose. Did you just leave immediately as soon as I got in this match? You're messing with me, man. You're messing with me. You did not just do that. Making me grab another one. I might have played two games at once. If they don't come back. Or if they do come back. And... Pff, okay. <laughs> Three redirection, one... uh, One psychic train, man. This isn't about winning anymore. This is about the stupid Runarigus. Let me think. Is there another lead I can make that makes it easier? Not really. Like, I could fake them out, I guess. Like, oh, I'm, I lead off a Zoomer on Cinero. He's going to Battle Drum, and then I just Aqua Jet into an Aragus. But I need the Trick Room to do anything. Uh, Alright, we're just going to do it. We're, we're just going to send it, I guess. Thank you, Zero Rose. Zero Rose, the perfect specimen. And then we, uh, then we lose them. <laughs> okay. I just really want to pull this off so bad. got this man you can pick your moves there we go there we go wait did you come back you did not you did not just come oh my god uh <laughs> no trick room protect no <laughs> you did not just come back i've played two games at once this is like the worst possible timeline um i should be able to trick room here and protect again but i have no water move to automatically set off my my thing Oh man, that sucks. That sucks real hard. Um, I actually could also just get an Incinera. There's the follow me as they imprison. Okay. 
I didn't like that. I think you're kind of lame for doing that. TBH, bro. TBH. TBH, that was, that was kind of lame, bro. That was, that was kind of lame. I can fake out, though, which is nice. Um, do I max... Screw it, max quake. Fake out into you. I'm not about to lose to Ndidi. And it's my turn again. Okay, hello, Dracozol. Uh, he got rid of the terrain. Dude, it's happening. It's happening. Everyone calm down. It's happening. Uh, tell me you don't have the move that you need to win. Um, I shouldn't even go for max quake. I should max phantasm every time. Bro, please. 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 What did he max lightning? Oh, it's because I protected. Please. 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 Yes. It's happening. <laughs> oh. Oh, wandering spirit doesn't... It doesn't work like that? Did we not make contact? I thought we made contact, bro. I thought we had something. That's so annoying, bro. Why would you do that to me? Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see if we can win two at once. Okay, um... This isn't awful. He's, got, he's the fighting water or Shifu, so I hit him pretty hard with Max Phantasm. Yeah, this isn't going awful, I suppose. Let me uh, get in the zoom roll here. As he Dynamaxes. As he Max Geysers into the zoom roll. Incredible. Get a Max Phantasm off. He is very, very scared to play rough at this point. Um, in fact, what I could do is I could end my Dynamax early. Is there a timer on this match? There is a timer. Frick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me uh, get in a Moongus here and protect. Okay, uh, and no, I think we just win. Let me max Quake. Let me uh, get in the Amoongus. Okay, no, we won. We, we managed to win. Rage Powder. All right, can we win two at once, though? Is, is that possible? Let me... He's within Aqua Jet range, so I can Rage Powder here. An Aqua Jet. Cool. Psychic terrain doesn't affect Pokemon immune to ground. I'm glad they added that because a lot of people forget and they'll be like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean that it doesn't do that? Uh, let me get in the Incineroar here and protect. I got fake out pressure. Bro, did we win two at once? Did we straight up win two at once? Let me trick room here. It's not even like worth the effort to trick room because I win regardless, but let me trick room here. Bro, it's happening. It's actually happening. It's happening, happening. Getting the Amoongus here. Let me go for the Rage Powder. You better not be safety goggles, man. Let me play rough. Minus one play rough. Should definitely knock you out. Minus one defense. Bro, it's working. <laughs> it's working. I'm so upset Aqua Jet doesn't count. Why didn't we get the stupid Wandering Spirit? That's so annoying. Let me look at this info. Um, yeah, no, I'm still able to do this. He doesn't have Poison Jab, it looks like. And Runeragus comes in in the endgame. Pokemon making contact with this Pokemon have their ability swapped with this. Yeah, why didn't it work? <laughs> I just, I just Aqua Jet my own Mon. Is that how it works in the game? It should be. You're within Aqua Jet range, I can Trick Room. Yeah, we're good. We are, we are Gucci. I had to multitask there. I, I straight up had to multitask. <laughs> Have we revealed Aqua Jet? I think we did, yeah. Versus the uh, Togekiss. I'm thinking about two games at once here. You know what? Do I win this game like a normal person or do I win in style? I win it like a normal person. There is no reason. I, I almost did it in style. I was going to self Aqua Jet and just Earthquake. Time to win in style. Oh. Well. I guess the forfeit's pretty stylish. Well, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> GG. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. That was an interesting one. Um, yeah, I just really wanted to pull it off. And then the moment I pull it off, it's like, it doesn't make contact. I'm going to have to test that in game, see how it works, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Do you want to see me use this on the ladder in game? And yeah, subscribe to the channel, do whatever. See you guys in the next video. Bye.